Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I have a mini Hermes haul for you guys. So if you're interested to see what I got, then just keep watching. Who are new here my name is Amelia and I do videos on luxury and lifestyle so if you enjoy this kind of videos do consider subscribing click the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future videos <laughs> I have a few items from Hermes to share with you guys today these are items that I've purchased over a period of time so I thought I will keep them all in their boxes and then do like a collective haul for you guys so Yes, I'm very excited. <laughs> number one, because then I can start using the items. And number two, just excited to share it with you guys, you know? So first off, I realized I did not include this item in my previous Hermes haul. So I thought I'll share it with you guys in this haul as well. It's this knit sweater over here in this blue and red. I believe this is from the summer collection. So it's already like fall, winter collection right now. So this... Basically, it's just a knit top that looks like that. I wasn't looking for this top in this colorway, but they only had it in this colorway. I think I was looking for like the pink and orange one, but they did not have it at the MBS store. They only have it at the Taka store, I believe. So I tried this on at the MBS store and strangely enough, I really, really like it. And it went very well with my pants that day. I think I was wearing jeans. And it just looks so good, so I decided to pick this up as well. I believe it was the same time as I got this cardigan as well, so this is the knit sweater. I've worn it many times, I've also worn it to Japan. I think I wore this to Gotemba Premium Outlets if I'm not wrong. And it's just really really comfortable and I like it a lot. So the make of this is 48% cashmere, 48% silk, 3% polyamide and 1% elastane. So yeah, it's very very soft and just really nice to wear, you know, so I really like this. And, and then moving on to the items that I got, first off being this little box over here. I'm sure we all know what this is. <laughs> so this is a little twilly. The box looks like that. And they usually like package it really well inside as well. I was really I was really quite smitten with this twillies. So it's basically pink and it has like blue detailing on it. And then there's like some beiges in it as well, some baby pink. And then on the flip side there's also like pink and orange, light blue. Essentially all the colours that I really like and I think that this will go with like many many things. So I decided to pick this twilly up. So that's that. And then I also got one of these. So I really like the scarf that I brought on my Japan trip as well. If you have not seen my previous unboxing, I'm going to link it up over here. Um, it's essentially this Grand Theatre huge silk cashmere scarf. Cashmere blend silk scarf. So I really like that about it. So I decided to get another one and it looks like this. It's they are 141 and it's 70% cashmere, 30% silk. So this one is a little bit different. So also has the orange and white trimming here, which I really like. It's a very nice detail. And it's just so soft. I'm not sure if you can see it. If I put it like that, you probably can't see my face. But you can see that there is like a huge Ferris wheel. And then there's like words that says like a mess in the middle over there. And then if you look really closely, there are like little horses doing different things. So cute. Look, there's one over there. And then there's like a few more over here. And I just really, really like the pattern of it. And all the horses have like numbers on them. So I'm not sure entirely what the numbers stand for. And some of the horses have like uh, alphabets on them also. And if you really look closely, you'll see that the alphabets actually spell out like a mess. <laughs> like some of the horses. And I, it's so huge. I don't really know how to show it to you properly. But this is like the bottom of the scarf. So 
just like a close up for you very very pretty look at that and it comes in like a few colorways but I decided to pick this one up there is actually this pink and yellow one that was it pink and yellow? or oh, maybe purple and yellow there's this purple and yellow one that was really nice as well that I was like contemplating if I should get that but I decided to get this one because it just is like more muted and I feel like it will go with a lot more things so I really really like this scarf honestly I really prefer this 140 scarf to the 90 by 90 ones because at least this one I know I will get a lot more wear out of it I feel like the 90 90 ones I don't really wear them quite so much I don't have any like I don't really know how to pair them to be very honest and even if I know how to pair them I don't think it's very common I see people back in town here like wearing them out in the way that you know like you drape it over your shoulder and then you put like the scarf ring over here I don't see a lot of people doing that in like Singapore so I find it a little bit strange like not that I care a lot but I feel like it's not really my style so so far I've only bought I think two of those scarves and I don't even think I've worn them I'm not even sure if I've worn them out yet so this one I definitely will get use out of it look at it it's so pretty so I just really really like the details I normally just drip it on my shoulder like that or I will just wear it as like a normal scarf as you saw previously so I really highly recommend these scarves they are so soft they are obviously pricier than the 1990 ones but I feel like you'll get a lot more use out of this because they are so easy to just throw into your everyday bag and in Singapore you're always surrounded by like air condition and it's a slightly chilly and then you can just throw this over yourself so in terms of a mess I think that's quite a good buy I will highly recommend people get themselves like a cashmere silk scarf if you want to start things off and then next off we have this little box over here honestly I was not intending to get this but my SA kept it aside for me and kept asking me if I really want it so I feel like this color is very very hard to find and I just don't know how to pass it up so I decided to pick it up as well oh my god actually the color is really nice ah <laughs> uh, yeah I really have so many of this I was asking my essay how many orans does one need apparently too many so I got this in this pale pink shade it's so pretty look at the pink and it's in my size I'm like a 37.5 let me just take this out so you can see it properly so it looks like that I love the shade of pink it's so pretty so it kind of looks a bit like rose sakura but not rose sakura the shade of this pink do they write it here no they don't so I believe this one is moth pale or pale moth or I'm not sure exactly what the color is if I know I'm going to place it over here but it's really really nice and it's like this light muted pink that I feel like will go with a lot of outfits I really wanted another pair of orange in white but my essay was like please don't just go for white like you keep going for neutrals why don't you go for colors I feel like this one is quite similar or quite close to white so I decided to pick this one up so pretty look at them oh my god yeah can't stop staring at them I need to get them sold before I can wear these I feel like this color actually kind of matches this color they're so similar and when I saw them together I was like okay la, I think it's a match made in heaven so <laughs> I feel like I'll just get it and I see some people actually tying their like twilly scarf on their orange I'm not sure how they do it and I'm not sure if I will do it because you'll obviously get the twilly dirty so but I, I thought that was a really cute look and anyway I only got one of these twilly so I don't know how you're gonna tie it on both sides of the shoe <laughs> so just for some story time I was actually invited to go down to a mess to experience their special order watch customization thing this was after I came back from Japan because when I was in Japan I think they have not launched this 
I feel like this special order watch thing was supposed to happen last year but it didn't. It got cancelled for some reason. It was supposed to happen in September last year I think and then it got postponed and that's why it's this year. So I went down and the experience was actually very interesting. You had this iPad thing and then you can customize your watch and I was I was very interested in the Nantucket watch actually and you can actually customize all the straps and it will tell you what is the price at the bottom what kind of like what kind of framing you can go for so most people actually go for rose gold plated because if it's rose gold it's a lot more expensive but if you do like a special order watch you can do rose gold plating so that is one interesting note but I fell in love with this like silver diamond bezel thing on the Nantucket watch because my SA had it on hand it was it was like the watch was physically in front of me and I tried it on and it was so pretty and the watch face was this dark shimmery starry thing and it was so so gorgeous I feel like for this one you can't really see it in pictures you need to see it in person it's so pretty and I was like so so smitten by it um, I did not end up doing the customization watch because I feel like now's not the right time so probably next year if they still have this program but I believe my SA was trying to push me and recommend me to go for the straps that are not available if you don't customize it so basically powerless like the baby pink I'm not sure what the color is called now and there's the blue broom strap and then there's this like dark green strap also that you can only get it if you customize it so he said to get those and then if you really want to you can order another strap that is like an etube you know to match your other things so that's also possible and i think i'll seriously consider it the next time round if they ever have this watch experience thing again so for the watches that you actually customize over special order you can engrave your name or like initials at the back of the watch and you can also engrave like a few stamping things if you don't want to engrave your name uh, because some people just don't want to engrave name in case you don't want it for whatever reason right so i think that's quite a nice touch also and you can only do that via special order um but I was just asking myself if it's absolutely necessary that I do an engraving at the back of the watch. What I'm most interested in is actually that silver diamond thing. Just because the rose gold diamond is way too much money but the silver diamond bezel was so so pretty and with that watch face and then I can pick like a strap that I want. So I feel like at some point of time I'll go for that. I'm veering towards the Nantucket because that's my favorite one. The other one would be the Cape Cod but I didn't really like the font on the Cape Cod watches. I think my essay kept laughing at me because the font is so like thick and like bubbly. It looks a bit like Comic Sans. Uh, I'm just like oh no I don't really like this Comic Sans font. <laughs> it's not very my cup of tea so yeah, I thought I'd just share it with you guys because it was quite interesting. So moving on with the haul, I managed to pick this up as well. I'm not sure if you know what this is. I was really lucky. So I went in and randomly was at the homeware section and I really just randomly asked, do you have the sushi plate? And then my SA was like, yes, we do. To be very honest, I was quite shocked because I was not expecting my SA to say that there was any because every single time I asked, there isn't any. So I don't even bother asking. I believe some months ago, I asked my SA if I can actually put like a order in for the sushi trays and he said that it's not possible anymore to put in because the wait is just simply too long. People wait like one odd years for it. So... <laughs> I can't believe that he said that there was sushi place that day so I decided to pick this up as well so this is in the gold mosaic and I really really like it so I currently have the silver mosaic that I put all my jewelry on and then now I also have the gold mosaic so I'm very very happy about that these are so hard to find guys I can't believe that he actually said that there was availability that day so <laughs> I had to pick it up because it was so hard to find, oh my god! So remember a couple of vlogs back, I actually said that I will include like a secret giveaway in one of my videos. 
So this is the giveaway guys. I'm going to be giving away one of these sushi plate trays to one of you guys over here. But it's only once and when I hit 1000 subscribers and then I will officially like announce it. But I'm letting you guys know over here first so that you can keep a lookout for it. <laughs> I've already hit the watch hours and I actually look at my stats and 65% of my viewers are not subscribed. So if you want to enter this giveaway, you have to be subscribed to this channel and you also have to follow me on my Instagram account. I'm going to link it out over here. I think what I will do is to announce this giveaway when I have officially hit 1000 subscribers and then I'll re-announce it. But you guys get first picks here and you know what is coming up for the giveaway. So yes. So I've also got a mess to specially package it up for you guys and I'm going to include like the paper packaging as well so everything comes very nicely. I'm not going to open it on this video, this is for you guys. So yes, as and when I hit 1000 subscribers. So keep a look out for it. Okay, moving on to the very last item. This one, I have to thank my friend specially because she texted me about it the moment it came out and was asking me if I wanted this in like another color. And I was trying to get it actually, the one that she texted me, but it was not available. But I was not too hard about it. So I actually went to scroll and look at the other things that are available. And this one popped out and I'm so happy about it. So I actually got this on the website online. I was frantically trying to refresh the page because as you know, these things sell out so quickly. But even if the note says um, that it is not available anymore, you can actually refresh the page. And sometimes it just becomes available because maybe the person who has the item in the cart did not do the transaction fast enough or they just decided to give up on the item and then it will come back into place and then you can add it back into your cart and when you add it back into a cart it does not even mean that you'll get it entirely you need to hurry up key in your credit card information and then submit it and only when they say that your order has been completed then this is finally yours so <laughs> this is a miracle that i got this actually i'm so excited about this i have not seen it in person Oh my gosh, she's so cute! So I got myself my very first Pegasus and this is in the color... Oh, I don't even have the color for this. I believe this is in Sesame, Nata and Noir. <laughs> I may be wrong but I'm going to include the right one down below here. And this is in the PM size and it's so so pretty. I've always wanted like a Pegasus. I want the Pegasus more than the Rodeo actually. And look at it! It's so pretty. I love it. And I think that whatever bag that I get next, this will just match it so well. Let me bring my Picotin. So this is how it looks like with the Picotin. It's so cute. I love it so much. I'm not sure if I'll ever get another one, but if I don't, I really, really like this one. It is so pretty and I just love her so much. I feel like I should give this Pegasus a name <laughs> just because she's adorable. So, so cute. This is my first ever Pegasus PM size. And then as usual, my SA always include like some perfume samples. And I love these because I will just bring them in my carry-on just to freshen things up on the plane. So I've come to the end of my haul. I hope you enjoy this haul. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more hauls like this. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!